at the end of April 2022, we came to Carbondale. It's a small, beautiful town in Colorado. We came here to visit Wild Mountain Seeds Farm. Wild Mountain Seeds Farm is a seed breeding and food production research farm. This is Casey's. He started this place seven years ago. It's very nice farm here, but the weather is quite hard for him because here the weather is quite different from many places because of cold wind caused a lot of problem for farming. Casey did many kind of research at this farm. He did a lot of research on technique how to grow things in different climates here. And the main thing is he focused on seed breeding. This is PYP pop in it. PYP pop so. Which is purple, <laughs> yellow, purple pop in it. Oh, did you get it? Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and then mm. I'll show you this one. This okay. one's really cool. This is one kind of purple carrot that he developing here. It tastes so good. I haven't seen any color taste this good before. It's very interesting the way he developed them here. He did a lot of uh, greenhouse here because of the wind and cold wind. So make the season of planting shorter for him to have the greenhouse help him to be able to grow more. He tried many techniques of growing at this farm to find a solution. Yeah. So this is kind of like a polyculture system. Right. And then we're going to come in here and we pop this. So we've already done this once, but we'll come in here mm -hmm. and then um, we're going to like at first flower and we'll just kind of coppice these down mm. and let the tomatoes have the light. Okay. And then eventually they'll be like smothered out and they'll kind of just like wither down and then this is good for the shredding insects and then these are like fully they're like fully nodulated mm. fixing nitrogen and we found that like they love this kind of setup mm. right now they're um we've been a little bit under watering so one technique that i like the way he work here is he used plastic to cover the soil to keep the heat to heat up the soil because here is quite cold for a long time so when he cover with plastic it heat up the soil it make the grass seed sprout and grow under plastic very well and then he can till them into compost or you can cover them and plant any kind of plant over it that will help to decrease a lot of weed in the garden. With this technique, he can grow earlier than normal and he work on weeding less than normal too. The most interesting project for me is he developing plants for frost resistance. I think it's a very important project. I like, I, I try to like do frost tests on tomatoes and peppers and other things. And if I can get it to like be around, seem like the magic number is like 27, 28, where you'll like have almost most of the population of warm season crops can't withstand that temperature. But 27 like, degrees. If yeah, but for that. example, two nights at 26 and look at this one variety. Okay. And, it, and you know, so like, yeah. these are gonna be parents that we'll use. Partly, some of it is where they're like hidden under the canopy. So like, if I have one right. like this here, I won't necessarily like think that this was had genetic difference, but two nights in a row. So it wasn't just one night, which gives me a, a high, um, high pressure, high enough selection pressure. But then sometimes I think with this density okay. that there's like communication going on right. with living soil. And so, yeah, this is a lot of what we do is like 
will like grow these out and oftentimes they are either like have higher anthocyanin like in their stems or that they just were were hybrids in the population that happen naturally that happen to have a little bit more information i guess on on what's going on and we've been doing this annually okay. for six years or so and so we'll grow these out and then oftentimes we'll use those as different parents to make crosses or find out that these are actually new varieties anyways because they had a hybrid vigor that made it happen so we this was, I'm sorry, so this one These were all from a frost trial. Yeah. You can see all these. Yeah. These are the ones that didn't survive. Yeah. And then these are all like, look, it's okay. Frost survivor from the perfect Italian last year from fr five five fruits. Okay. So you, this is the second generation this of This is the second generation of okay. the frost trials in their mm. next next frosting that they survived. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. right, right. <laughs> and she's building that. Yeah, you building think, how, how many times you need to select like this? Unknown. Unknown. Just keep yeah, going. Yeah, just and keep doing it. And and then, like, it's wild. Like, there's a lot of local gardeners that buy our tomato starts, and there's been some late frosts mm -hmm. that have come, and, like, it's killed, like, all the tomatoes but ours. The big corporation, they develop plants to make them be able to resist to chemical. So we can rely on them. We can rely on the chemical. They develop plan to control it, to own it, to monopolize it. They want to control the food, but for many small farmer, small group of people who love farming, they develop them for everybody. They develop them for a sustainable way of living. They want to grow food for people. This is the beauty of people, the beauty of small farmers who want to do something good for ourselves and for next generation. Many people believe that if you do organic farming, you cannot feed people in the world. But this farm is not very big farm. They grow for local market. They grow for developing seed, for seed breeding. They do very good job for everybody. I think there are many farmers in the world who love to do something like this. If we keep connecting together, share together, and help each other more, I think we will have food. We will have easy way of farming, easy way of produce food for all of us happily. If you want to get some good seed from them or want to support them, you can search for the word wild mountain seeds. You will find them on the media. This is the people of hope. We happy to know them. I have a book about gardening on Amazon. It's about how to start a garden, how to do gardening in the easy way. You can check it out if you're interested in gardening.